Hi, I'm Andre, and this is day six of my 30-day YouTube challenge. So the idea for today is to use household items to visualize fluid flow. So you've probably seen on the internet those really cool pictures of water swirling around or milk and coffee or, you know, other things like that. So that's what I'm going to try today. I don't know how this one is going to turn out and it will probably be quite a tricky one to do but I'm sure we'll learn something in the process. Something interesting just happened. I dropped a uh, ice cube in there. And you can see from the shadow that there's cold water coming from the ice cube and going down to the bottom. So kind of like an inverted thermal. So you want to look at is the shadow, not the ice cube. So that's quite cool. I'm going to see if I can find some more uh, different liquids and different things to put in it to make some different effects. Look, the, uh, the paprika is transferring from the oil to the water. So here's a new setup. Um, I've got a little line, a little pipe that I can uh, attach the syringe to uh, on here. Uh, so I can inject a fluid in a more controlled manner. Then we're gonna have some kind of obstruction. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. And then we're gonna see how it goes over the obstruction. And hopefully that will show us uh, lift on this part and then rotor on this part. That's not great. The water that I'm pushing in is quite cold and the water in the <clears throat> in the bowl is quite warm so it wants to sink too much. It should be water of the same temperature but one of them being coloured. That kind of works, but not really. So we've got our little injector of flow there, and now we have a kind of hill here. All right, let's try this. Yeah, okay. The flow is too fast. Maybe if we move this closer to there.
So it looks like there's a lot of problems with making this work. But the main one at the moment seems to be being able to deliver the injected fluid slow enough that it will act like air over a mountain otherwise because at the moment it's just going way too fast but at the same time if you inject really slow the dye in the injected fluid will mix with the surrounding water so then you can't see what it's doing anymore but I'm gonna try to I got it closer now and we'll try really slowly There we go. That kind of works. It's quite hard to feed it in a regular fashion with this syringe. It kind of jumps around. Okay, so I think I'm going to make the slope shallower and go again. There we go. That's the ticket. Let's go to the lee side. I think the current setup is half decent. Let's try to. I'm gonna try to start with a slow flow and then increase wind speed. So this is as slow as I can go. And now increasing. A bit more. A bit more. See the rotor there, and then if you go to really fast, So that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, it was really good fun, we got there in the end. Uh, if you like this sort of experiment, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for new ones, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.